I made a cafe for my cats and a mansion for my bees. Ouch. So now it is time to build a castle in my hardcore world, but not for myself. I have so many pets living around my base, so one of them deserves a castle made for them. On second thought, they all smell and I want to get a new pet instead. I'm the worst pet owner ever. Let's make a couple more buckets and I'm sure now you can already guess what my new pet is gonna be. It's of course the salmon. Just kidding, let's find some axolotls. Bye salmon. I've seen a lush cave back in the beginning when I searched for dark oak saplings, so at least I don't have to find one. I'm a bit scared of going in a cave because of all the dangers awaiting me. Wait, did I just say that out loud? I mean, I'm not scared. It should be somewhere over there in this forest. I think I'm gonna set up a little camp here by the shore and dig a hole to leave my horse in so it doesn't run away in the forest. I'll come back for you, I promise. If I actually make it out the cave. Why am I doing this again? I think I actually forgot where I saw the lush cave because I thought I was here, but there's just this big water hole. Whatever, let's go dive. Woo, swimming pool. Wait, there are tropical fish. That means we're near a lush cave. Oh, there's moss on the ground. Okay, we're on the right track. I'm gonna dig out a little air pocket to breathe. Ah, I didn't mean for this to open. No, the cave is underneath me. I mean, that's good, but also scary. After a few minutes of not being scared, I've got my shield and my axe. Let's go down there. There's some nice lush cave stuff down there, but hopefully no creepers disguised as lush blocks. And run. Okay, there's a big pool. I'll just dive in and hide. Oh my gosh, there's already an axolotl here. Come here. Yay, the cutest predator. I can't seem to find any more axolotls, so I want to try to farm them. Not for food, just for friendship. Let's dig out a little room in this wall. Ooh, there's so much clay here. And I have too much clay now. Bricks for life. I got the little room ready. I just need to turn the floor into clay blocks because I think axolotls only spawn when there's clay. And then a lot of water on top. I'll just close up this room and run away so they spawn. Two hours later, I actually have to dig out another room because nothing spawned in the first one because it was too close to the water caves. Oh look, some fish have spawned, but no axolotls. You know what? That makes me mad. So I will let my axolotl feast on those fishies. Get them! I don't think the spawn rooms actually work, so I'm gonna try the scary caves again. Please no mobs, please no mobs. Wait, there literally is an axolotl here in this little water pocket. Wait, and there's another one. So what I should have done was just wait for them to spawn in the cave instead of wasting hours making water rooms that only spawn fish. No! That's what I get for being scared of caves. I mean, I'm not scared. Wait, no way the room has axolotls now. So it actually does work. Oh, there's a little baby. I think the axolotls are trying to make fun of me. Two hours of nothing and now they're spawning everywhere. I got another one. I think I have all the axolotl colors now. Oh my gosh, I did it. Um... Okay, that was weird. Before we leave, let's grab some drip leaves too. And I want to have this pretty flower in the ceiling. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's run back home where it's safe. But now we can start a new chapter of axolotl friendship. My base has been taken over by Enderman. Can you believe this guy? He comes into my home and takes my blocks. And now I can't even look at anything without him getting mad. I don't feel safe here. Oh my gosh, he's standing behind me. What a creep. But now I have six beautiful axolotls which deserve to live in a beautiful castle. Let's find a good spot that is worthy of their axolotlness. Please, no more endermen. My first thought was to put the castle on this giant hill, but it would be so far away and I want to have my friends close to me. But this hill behind my house is perfect. But that means I have to decorate the back of my starter house because this is embarrassing. Let's just add some more spruce decorations around the walls and the windows and it's gonna be fine. This looks nice. Nothing to be ashamed of anymore. Except the outhouse toilet that I AFK in. Ew, stinky. Now let's tackle this giant hill here and get rid of the trees and all the mess I've made here. This place needs to be flat and perfect to house a lovely castle on top of it. There are so many resources floating around and I can't even pick them up. Look at all this dirt I got. This looks even messier than before with a random white horse. Hi there. Oh. Okay, bye horse. The most important thing is the entrance to the castle and the path leading towards it. I will build it on this hill so I can make a grand staircase leading up to it to give it an even more majestic look. And then we have this little gap in between my builds to put another stone block path right in the center. So let's dig out a little road, a little big road. This is five blocks wide. I hope this will look as good as I imagined it. Okay, so we walk up here on this small path and it leads to the road towards the castle on the hill. I don't know, I kind of like how we go to the castle through a little alley. It gives this place a lot of character, like a hidden entrance to a cute castle, which still isn't there yet. I did mark out how big I want it to be, but I also want this one to be really tall. I'm gonna use lots of stripped oak again, but also brighter block for the walls. Look, there's my old friend Calcite, but I will need a lot more than that. Let's find a geode and minecart. No, that was the wrong one. 
Yeah, never mind. I think I remember finding a geode in my mineshaft and probably remembering this wrong again like with the lush cave. There goes the chest mine card again. Surprise, surprise! I remembered it wrong and there was no geode here. It is actually in my old mine entrance right about here. Aha! I knew exactly where it was first try. Now please no mobs dropping on me. Oh, that was scary. I mean, I'm not scared. Let's take all this calcite. Well, it was nice knowing you, Geode, or what is left of you, and goodbye! Let's start with the platform the castle will sit on by making 5 block high pillars with stripped oak logs. Making this hurt my ankles good, ouch! Now let's do the calcite behind these pillars as the main wall. and then connect the pillars together using oak stairs and trapdoors. This platform will also have a railing made of spruce wood on every single side, starting with upside down stairs and finishing up with a simple fence. And then the entrance will be right here in the middle, lined up with the staircase and the path. Building castles is so complicated, it's so different from building houses. But this one will be a masterpiece because it's for my axolotls. Wait, where did I put them? Oh yeah, I safely tucked them away in a chest. You'll have a home soon, my friends. Oh, so cute. Oh no, my carpet! For the next part, I need to get my hands on some more of the netherwood types because it's gonna get colorful really soon. I haven't said it today yet, haven't I? Okay, here it comes. I hate the nether, but the wood is so magical. This castle needs to have tiny watchtowers in the front to protect the axolotls from evil monsters. Do they even have enemies? To be honest, they kind of murderize every living being in the ocean, but I forgive them because they're so cute and squishy. Let's give this tower some cute windows with the classic magenta glass and also a nice bit of spruce decorations. It's always the little bits and pieces of stairs, fences and trapdoors that turn the build into something truly beautiful. Aren't they cute? Should we put some actual guards in them? Come here sheep! I have a special task for you. Why is this sheep so stubborn? Come on, get up here. Okay, I got it in place. Oh, it's night time. You're gonna keep this place safe. If a monster approaches, you just gotta scream and I will immediately hide in my base and leave the axolotls to fend for themselves. I'm not scared. This is a second sheep, by the way. The first one died for unknown reasons. And the other tower gets a sheep too. That was so random, so let's get to work on the huge main building of the castle. For the walls, I wanna use the same blocks as my starter house, so let's melt down all this sandstone to the smooth version. I'm gonna use the same pattern I did for the train station. First two layers of sandstone, then a layer of cut sandstone, and then the rest will be smooth sandstone. I said too much sandstone today. I'm also gonna add very decorated spruce pillars in each corner and a grand magenta window right in the middle. I also started on a beautiful roof trim with crimson wood and it looks so magical like a fairy house. But I stopped because I have no idea what to fill the roof with. I could use glass, but I don't think it fits with the castle. Maybe something axolotl themed. Clay doesn't look nice on there, but maybe some moss. I'm gonna go make more moss really quick. Okay, let's put this everywhere in between. And some bone meal so we get the grass and azaleas. Yeah, this is good. A little hint to where the castle's inhabitants came from. As long as it doesn't spawn creepers too. Oh, I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Why does he always creep up behind my house? Stalker. Oh, he sells small drip leaves. Free leads. Bye, loser. Okay, I'm buying the leaves. I want to put another small build on top of this roof. I think a castle needs to have a lot of builds stacked on top of each other, which gets smaller and smaller towards the top. This is gonna look really good. This time the roof won't be mossy, but nice and nethery with the wall blocks. Yeah, this already looks really cute, but it needs something to finish it off at the top, like a golden ball or a flag or something fancy. Maybe another axolotl reference. I love the sea, so let's make an ocean pearl made of quartz blocks. I've been avoiding using quartz because I don't want to restock my supply in the nether anytime soon. But hey, it's for my axolotl friends and they deserve special treatment. Or they probably murderize me with their small sharp teeth. I'm not scared. Let's add this on top using the stairs so it looks round. Yeah, this is beautiful! The ocean pearl high up in the sky. But I don't want this to be the highest point in the castle. I've kind of left these sides here undecorated because I want to have huge towers coming out of the ground on both sides. It's time for a watchtower upgrade. Sorry sheep, you're fired. I'm gonna make a taller tower. The towers will be thin, but I still want them to be tall and full of detail. The majority of the walls are made of oak wood, but towards the top I want to add a little more color with some calcite and spruce wood. And then of course the tower roof is gonna complement the middle building with the same sign colors. The nether update was the best and the worst update. It gave us a terrifying nether but it also gave us these beautiful wood types and I can't be mad about that. Best update. 
Oh yeah, the castle is done by the way. Look at this beautiful majestic building. I need to see how this looks together with my other builds from far away. It's so magical! Oh, the sun is setting again. Days go by way too fast here. It feels like they only last 10 minutes. Oh, by the way, I lied and a castle isn't done yet. Haha, <laughs> I tricked you. I haven't even made the door yet. Well, now I have. Oh, Piggy is trapped there forever. But there is more and there is also rain. Yay. I would never leave this shameful rocky mess out front. Let's first add spruce pillars to the side of the staircase. And then some bushes by the watchtowers because that always makes it look better. Sheep, what are you still doing here? I told you, you're fired. <laughs> this land kind of abruptly ends here and I want to make this into a little axolotl pond. Imagine an axolotl castle without water outside. It would be a great scandal. Let's have the water flow out of this wall like there's tons of water underneath the castle. I almost just killed my axolotl. I need to use those buckets because I don't have any others. And then some lily pads here and there and some leaves. I love that you can waterlock them now. I have two little ponds on both sides now. This is so adorable. There's one more thing I need to do before the great flooding of the castle. Oh yeah, it's gonna get flooded. But first, I need lanterns to light up this place. Luckily, I remembered that I can trade for lanterns with villagers, specifically the librarian. And I do have this mending idiot living rent-free in my base. It's time he becomes useful again. I just gotta unlock the trade. So I also need emeralds, but I have a simple potato trade in my food farm with the same guy who farms the food for me. So I'm selling him his own crops haha <laughs> and he has no idea <coughs> two hours later just kidding it didn't take that long i finally unlocked the lantern trade let's give this guy all my money now i can finally get rid of the ugly torches everywhere and place lanterns instead let's put them all over the castle too beautiful now the great flooding can begin now all of this room is gonna be water this pig is in for a wild ride The castle is flooded, but most importantly, the pig survived it! I left this part here open as a little air bubble so the pig can live here safely forever. Let's put up some curtains too so it feels comfortable here. I want to make this underwater home as cozy as possible for the axolotls, so let's take a little trip to get everything we need. This is gonna be beautiful. Wait a moment. I see a drowned with a trident. Should I try and take him on? I do have my shield so I can block his attacks. Come here drowned. Haha, <laughs> missed me. He's so bad at throwing his fork, someone should take it off his hands. Give me your trident drowned. Oh my gosh, ah, he actually dropped it! I never got a trident like this before, what? I killed the drowned and the drowned dropped a trident! I'm so excited for this! Wait, there's another trident man. Let's get him! Ouch, those hurt. Good that I have my shield. No, he broke my shield! I can still take him. Oh, I cannot take him, I'm gonna die! No! I need to run, I need to run! You know what? I am mad he broke my shield and almost killed me. I'm gonna take him out for good. Come here, you pesky trident man. This is for my beautiful pink heart shield. Get wrecked. That was terrifying, but I got a trident. Now let's keep going. This took so long, but here we are at the lovely coral reef, which I'm gonna tear apart to get all these pretty blocks for myself. This feels wrong. The axolotls made me do it. I got them all, let's get out of here. I have a trident. Wait a moment, this is the rock I spent my first night on. Yes, I was scared and dug myself a hidey hole. That was nostalgic. Now let's get to work on this underwater interior. All of these pretty corals are gonna be the floor of the castle like a colorful kid coral carpet. This looks so funny. Whoops, look who's here. This isn't your castle. Get lost. I'm also gonna leave some rocks here and there and lots of corals on the wall. And bone meal the place for some seagrass. But there's more. We have a lovely couch with a lamp and a tiny table and a beautiful leafy vine growing along the walls. Then we have pretty amethyst crystals everywhere and a maze of leaves and trapdoors to swim through. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I wish I was an axolotl living in this place. Oh wait, the axolotls. I completely forgot to add my little friends. I hope they aren't mad. Welcome to your new home, my friends. Oh, they're so cute, look at them go. They really bring this place to life. Hey guys, it's feeding time. Okay, that was cruel. I'm sorry. This world now has a beautiful castle and lovely new friends inside. And I got a trident. I hope you enjoyed this hardcore episode. I'll see you next time. Bye!